Hello beautiful people. I haven't done videos lately uh, because of my personal life and I have a truckload of work. I work six, uh, six days uh, in a week and uh, now I'm living in a new place. I moved recently and you know when you gonna get everything organized and uh, putting your shelves up and your workplace and workbench and stuff like that it takes just so much time and uh, recently yesterday uh, I noticed that one of my solutions salt and vinegar solutions has turned to a brownish color and I remember that um, about a month ago or so I was uh, grinding my sea chips with that in a little engraving machine and uh, I did only two chips I, I believe and uh, for some reason uh, I didn't do basically anything with that powder and uh, it just uh, stood on the table and so on uh, and when I when I was about to you know dismantle my uh, workbench and there was the powder and I was thinking what I'm gonna do with that do I put it some, into a, some a small box or as a really tiny container or something like that and I watched on my shelf and I saw that oh I still have a little bit of uh, vinegar okay I poured that uh, powder in and I add some uh, vinegar and uh, salt and uh, sealed it and just placed it back to the shelf and uh, just I don't give a check what happens with that thing and uh, about two weeks ago, uh, when I, you know, moved, uh, I took that uh, solution, and uh, yeah, nothing clear as day, and uh, I placed it on the shelf, and and so on. And uh, yesterday, uh, I was kind of grabbing that uh, e-cigarette. Uh, liquid and that sits also on top of that uh, shelf and and I noticed that hmm that was two weeks ago clear as day and now it's like this brownish color a little bit smudgy but okay so I decided to take a closer look what's really happened with that solution and uh, I was kind of you know filtering out everything and I noticed one thing some of that powder is missing uh, about 70 80 percent of the powder is missing and i was thinking wow is it really possible okay uh, i got all that powder out uh, i placed it in the uh, little jar and uh, and uh, kind of washed washed the powder out that anything heavy that was left wasn't uh, really in the, in the bottom here and uh, Kind of, kind of really tiny, uh, tiny amount, and uh, I placed that tiny amount powder into, uh, into on a clear sheet paper. Uh, I dried it out with a hot air blower, and I watched that powder closely with my microscope. And uh, there wasn't even any single bit of copper left absolutely nothing 
there was a uh, yes a lot of that uh, uh, epoxy that you can you know that came up from uh, that IC chip but uh, no traces of copper or whatsoever nothing just uh, gold and that uh, epoxy powder and I was thinking yeah okay now I don't have that gold pan but uh, I have my homemade shit but uh, if you can you know grind that powder to a really really fine particles and gold pan it everything not all but majority of them uh, out and uh, as you know copper is heavy too and uh, copper will kind of stick with the gold there at the bottom but um, that's not the problem at all the problem is that epoxy powder the more you can get that thing off from there uh, the best and uh, you can always remove the copper with the vinegar. Just lay it on the plate or somewhere, or a glassware or whatsoever. And uh, I have that uh, squirt bottle, bottle, squirt some vinegar on it, and uh, leave it to uh, open air, and uh, that uh, solution turns uh, greenish bluish or something like that. And then wash it and do it again, do it again when that. Uh, solution anymore doesn't uh, uh, change uh, colors or so and uh, I was thinking yeah it kind of works but uh, now it's the question how good you are at gold panning to get all that powder out yeah that's the that's the key if there is a yeah copper and the gold mixture that's not a problem at all uh, just just the powder and uh, if there's uh, there's gonna be a little bit of that powder and uh, vinegar really eats that uh, powder away it's gonna it's gonna take a long time but uh, uh, my solution was on the shelf about month or so maybe a little bit more and uh, maybe if you, if you give it a little bit more heat, uh, more air, because uh, my solution was uh, in a sealed container and then uh, ambient temperature, so maybe you can speed up that, maybe, I don't know, because uh, there are few chemicals I know that uh, eats quite fast, that epoxy, but uh, for me that's not an option because I don't want to do any deals with those strange and uh, uh, expensive chemicals because I don't know anything about chemistry maybe a few, few little things but yeah um, so this is the kind of idea and this is what happened with that uh, solution uh, I took a few few uh, photos with my microscope I'm gonna leave it at the end of the video and maybe you can find any pieces of copper uh, there are by the way uh, sandpaper those uh, tiny tiny sand or stone particles you can see they are in dark orange or reddish color like that uh, that's not the copper I know and you know but yeah, all you can see is uh, particles from that uh, epoxy and uh, gold. And yes, also I have pretty much all my workbench and uh, shelves up. I have a few things to do and I can create more content and uh, do some more experiments and uh, also a uh, lot of scrapping I have gathered some stuff on my shelf there and uh, it's just waiting to waiting to scrap out and you can see what's in there and uh, how much they are worth and you know stuff like that but anyways thank you for watching thank you for not disappearing any, anywhere 
and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.